Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the SAD Test Room. Today we are taking a look at how to split up your kit, your, your MIDI kit, one of the ones from Cubasis or whatever MIDI kit you import, into separate tracks so you have full control over the entire drum kit and not just the entire drum kit mix on one track. And also then how to create a group track for your whole drum kit. Um, now this is very useful because it means you can mix the kit individually. So this is the uh, pattern. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to double tap this and go and have a look at the MIDI view of this. And we can see that, uh, let's see, there's one at the top here, which is a symbol. And then there's some toms, which we can keep in the same group, actually. And then on uh, this F sharp, there's a uh, all our symbols and then there's some other stuff that's not been used now you can create extra tracks for drums that uh, may be added later but you can add those tracks later so it's okay we've got this snare and then we've got our kick here I mean if you wanted to go the full the full whack you could create um, a excuse me you could create a, a separate uh, track for each of the 16 drums but you know for this purpose we'll stick with our six individual components so we know we have a kick um, here so it's one two three four five but one two three four and five because we're going to keep the toms in one group okay in one in in one track so first of all all we need to do is duplicate this six times so uh so one for the kick like this one for the snare and then one for the hi-hats one for the entire tom set and one for the cymbals and what we're also going to do is duplicate it once more so we don't for now lose our main kit but we can mute that we don't need it so playing this now is going to be it's going to be really loud uh Let's go into our mixer, turn on our master volume. So what's happening there is it obviously it's playing the entire the entire six um, MIDI loops all at the same time. So it's going to be super loud. So first, what we want to do is start to eliminate certain uh, things from this and we can name them as we go. So let's call this first one here which is track two. Let's call this um, bass drum. Okay, let's click OK like this. And then we're going to double tap on this MIDI clip like this. And everything above the bass drum, you'll see that it's already on select. But if it's not on select, just press select. And then all you need to do is hold and then move this around till it picks up all that extra stuff then hit erase okay and then you'll see that we've still got our snare so we don't want that so again just click and hold till you get your bar like this to draw across and then just click erase and then in this one we now only have the kick drum so if we solo this You'll see that our kick drum is the only thing there. And we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do this qu quicker now. Um, I'm just going to double tap on this. And I'm going to run through it uh, faster. <clears throat> so let's see. Um, this time we'll kick with the snare. So first of all, erase that, and then the kick. So now all we're left with is the snare. Okay, so uh, next, we're gonna name. <clears throat> and then you're gonna use uh, track four for hi-hats.
And then we'll use track five for the toms. Gonna raise them. So all we've got is our toms now. Uh, so kick, snare, hats, so we've got to put in, uh, hats, and then toms, and this one uh, for symbols. So everything other than the symbols. Okay. Me raise. Um, I made an extra one, so don't need that. Delete that one. Okay, so th theoretically now we should have our kit sounding uh, normal. So here we go. But the beauty is now, of course, we have control over the entire mix. Which means, of course, we can now apply effects to individual drums, etc. So we don't need, need to uh, don't need to know how to do that. Uh, but we're going to do group tracks, right? So first thing to do is uh, go down here where it says Add, and we're going to add a group track here. So we click Add Group, and then everything that we want to put in to our group we highlight so we don't want to put my vocal mic in there so i'm going to put kick drum snare hats toms this one but not number eight because that's the full kit we don't actually need that and then we're just going to click okay and we have a group track here with all our bits and pieces in and we can move that group track just pick it up and move it up to the top or move it below the drums. We can actually get rid of this now as well. So I can actually delete this entire track. And then the good thing now is we have a mix. Once you've got your mix done, you can actually go into the mixer and you'll see you have group track uh, as, as number two. But what, watch what happens when I play the drums now. The group track controls the entire level of the kit. So once you've got your mix done for the entire kit, just create a group track, link all them in, and then you've got a, 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 an even control over the volume of your mix correctly. And which means you can also apply some maybe compression effects and stuff like that, kind of mastering effects just to the drum kit. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, that's how you do it, basically. And then, of course, you can just compress everything down, but you've still got your... Mix of the same and uh, with uh, you can go extra large so you can see actual metering better or you can go small if you've got tons and tons of stuff to mix and that just splits the audio interface from sorry uh, from the main track view anyway hope you enjoyed that hope you found it useful um, but that's how you create group tracks and that's how you split up a MIDI file in Cubase which is very very handy if you want to mix individual instruments and stuff like I said if you want to use the entire kit create a track for that entire kit um, and just you know you're good to go <laughs> if there's no data in there already you don't even need to erase anything do you, you can just add stuff in la uh, later anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron helping uh, me and joe out at the sound test room also uh i'll put a link in for you basis three in the description bless you all for watching i'll see you guys later Ta -da.